Yes, terrorism does have a religion. Tom Makatis, writing in the Chicago Tribune on Thursday, July 28, 2011, wrote this uh, op-ed piece that was completely ridiculous. He said, terrorism has no religion. He tried to say that all religions are equally responsible for terrorism. He's talking about this new situation in Norway where this guy Breivik, who tried to, uh, who killed a bunch of people, sadly, uh, in trying to stop um, Islamic immigration, Muslim immigration to uh, Norway, uh, was claimed to be a Christian, and therefore Christian Christianity is equally responsible for terrorism. And so, as he quoted, this one guy in Israel, Goldstein, who killed some. Arabs, sadly, a few years ago, uh, and comparing it to Islam, they're all equal. This is the kind of politically uh, correct crap and junk that clouds the minds and makes liberals seem so stupid, which evidently they are if they say stupid things like this. Okay, so take the guy Breivik in Norway. You have one lunatic who commits murder against innocent people in trying to stop immigration to Norway, which, if you're trying to stop it, which I think it should for keeping Muslims out of Europe, because they're going to try and take over Europe. I think anybody can see it's plainly on the handwriting on the wall, if you, if you can't see it already. And Europe's too dumb and sleeping to wake up to that phenomenon. But you try and do it through the political process, not by killing innocent people. So his claim that he did it out of conservative thought or out of Christianity is bogus. Just like the far left tried to tie the shooting of that Congresswoman Gliff Gifford to the right wing. Uh, political pundits and Sarah Palin in this country, shamefully. And uh, Baruch Goldstein, uh, he's, he calls this article an extremist Zionist who killed 39 Arabs, sadly. Uh, yeah, now when you have two billion Christians in the world, there's going to be one or two people that commit murder and maybe claim that they're doing it in the name of Christianity. But now Christianity did a lot of horrible things in 2,000 years, but let me ask you today, can you show one ounce of evidence that Christian leadership endorses the killing of innocent people? Anywhere in the world, any minister or priest gets up in a church on Sunday morning and says, go kill innocent people? Any writings that endorse that? It's just nonsense. Now ask about Judaism. I mean, sure, you got a lot of Jews with strong opinions, you got some radicals, you're going to have a few people who say uh, bad things, but the Israeli Defense Force is the most ethical fighting force in history. The British colonel who was sent to investigate the actual facts and not Arab propaganda lies said, that no nation on the earth in Gaza ever fought more honorably and ethically and nobly. And I've seen myself the videos where the IDF, Israeli Defense Force, tries so hard to avoid killing civilian casualties, uh, having civilian casualties when they're trying to kill terrorists, even though the terrorists try every single thing they can to provoke uh, civilian casualties. Uh, but let me ask you this. Uh, go to any synagogue in America. Do you find rabbis advocating mass murder? killing innocent civilians, killing Arabs who are innocent. Do you find that anywhere? Now, let me ask you this. Islam, think about that for a minute. You go into any mosque in the world, virtually, where you find uh, and, and hundreds of thousands of mosques among tens of millions of Arabs, you find people that advocate the mass murder of Jews everywhere in the world, killing innocent Israelis? Absolutely. And if you don't believe me, just go to, and just read the newspaper every day. Go to www, the website thereligionofpeace.com and you'll see there guess how many terrorist attacks there have been from Christians since 2011 what, three? how many from Jews? Uh, none how many from Muslims? 17,523 uh, on July 19th to 15th just that week there were 35 attempts 101 people were critically injured 200, uh, 101 people were killed 264 critically injured just in one week from Muslims and just think about yesterday. They uncovered another plot, a second plot, to try and mass murder soldiers and their families, innocent people uh, at Fort Hood by this other Muslim guy. Not that all Muslims are horrible. Not that all Muslims are, are wanting to kill civilians. I'm sure there's tens of millions who don't. But um, read, the, read the Quran. Which one advocates violent jihad? Uh, where in the world do you have many ma clerics in mosques calling for mass murder and jihad and, and killing innocents? where when you do polls of populations, the huge percentage of uh, Palestinians that want suicide bombing and missiles to kill innocent Israelis. So, Mr., uh, where well, you teach at DePaul University, Mr. Makatatis, I mean, you're supposed to be a professor. Where's your intellect? Where's your logic? I know you want to be PC, but clearly terrorism has a religion. It's called Islam today. 
Now, again, not all Muslims are like that, thank God. I'm sure there are many that are peace-loving and advocating for peace. But when the voice is the louder, most dominant voice, and the ratio of Muslim-sponsored acts of terror to Christian and Jewish is about 17,000 to 1, you got to ask yourself, and you got to look at what the priests of each religion are saying, and you got to look at what the texts of each religion are saying. you got to see what the people are actually doing. That's the problem. This world will not be safe until Islam gets itself under control and the jihadists are put down by the moderates and the peace-loving Muslims. Uh, if that can happen, that's the only way there's going to be peace or there's going to have to be a huge civilizational battle, um, which seems to be starting now. Um, but yes, sadly, terrorism does have a religion.